Hello, Peter Detmer, Madison College. Today I'm going to talk about production setup and program checks within the FANUC robotics controllers. Uh, they're two different uh, items. The first one can be found by clicking on menu, then going to the next page by clicking zero. Under system and then type we will see the config. In here, you will find detailed system configuration and variables that can be set to customize how your system should recover after a power failure, what program should be automatically executed, depending on if you did a cold start or hot start. Um, output signals can be set depending on uh, hot start or cold start. Um, you will also see there are options to uh, allow a certain fault reset. Uh, timeouts can be set if the system sits for too long. Uh, the original program names can be defined here. Uh, that is when you press select and create. These five options typically show up. You can change them to speed up your programming. Uh, and program naming options and you see there are several others um, these force messages uh, allowing force and allowing change override in auto mode those are important items to consider when looking in the production systems uh, basically in this statement you would allow uh, the operator to force inputs and outputs on your controller while in production in automatic mode uh, typically you probably want those turned to false so that it is not possible. Um, there are also signals that can be set uh, to digital outputs that come on uh, when the system is in auto mode and T1, T2 mode, e-stop. Uh, that's typically done when you need to uh, communicate with another control system like a PLC that needs to know if the robot is in auto mode, T1, T2 or e-stop mode uh, so that it does not start any other peripheral equipment if the robot is not ready to run its program. So this is again uh, system config options. Uh, the other item I'm going to talk about is the program checks. Uh, we can find those by going to menu, then to setup, and in our first item the program select options. Here we can see these are simply checks that are run before the auto mode or production mode starts. Uh, the system right now is able to check if it's at home. That home position can be defined by the operator. Um, you can see here the general override and program override options. Uh, they have to be 100%. Those are disabled. And those are um, available that uh, uh, would force an operator to start a system uh, in 100%. Uh, speed mode. Uh, for example, there are some instances when you tested and uh, defined your program to run at 100%. If you were to run the system at slower percentages, override speed, um, the system would not function properly. Think of a painting process where you're set to paint a certain pace. If you slow the system down to 50%, you would put a lot more paint um, you know, onto an area and you just don't want that. So you have the option to force an operator to always crank up to 100%. Uh, you can also disable single step mode. Um, the system operates differently when you run it in single step versus continuous mode and testing. Um, there are also some other items here that can be set to define if low memory uh, settings occur and just to keep a general check on the system that it's still uh, communicating, responding to other systems. So those were the two items I wanted to talk about today. Uh, again, one is the program uh, system configuration, uh, production setup. The other is the program checks that simply checks your program and production settings to make sure they comply with what is necessary for your process. So thanks for visiting and uh, stop by again soon. Thank you.